Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. My voice is pretty low right now because my brother's sleeping in the other room. He's currently staying with me for two months, or three months rather, and uh, you know, it's been awesome having him here, but I want to be respectful of his sleep, so I'm going to keep this video on the lower decibel level, but I wanted to give an update on my inner emotional journey and this process that I've been going through. For those of you who were tuned into my Instagram and YouTube last summer, you would have seen a couple videos and some stuff on my Instagram and some stuff on my YouTube. Um, the YouTube video is called uh, My First Big Cry as an Adult, and there are just some posts and stories on the Instagram as well <laughs> around last summer. But essentially what happened, just as a brief kind of nutshell, is a whole bunch of my inner shit got completely exposed, including inner childhood wounds and uh, major anxious attachments that I had and fears and very deep insecurities. And it all kind of went from zero to a hundred where, you know, for the first 25 years of my life, um, I suppressed emotion and then was, you know, very emotionless and just kept everything down, um, didn't really feel, or when I felt, I just suppressed it and just pushed it down, didn't, didn't process any emotion, and just, you know, operated like a robot for the most part, where I was still going through shit on the inside, but just, I just suppressed it, you know, so I didn't really fully process it or express it or anything of this nature. And uh, essentially a year ago, almost to the week, pretty much to the week, um, my inner shit got completely exposed. And uh, for those of you who are curious, the trigger, like the first domino that like essentially like triggered, like put a spotlight on all of my inner shit was uh, this relationship of sorts that I had with a girl I was seeing um, last summer. And uh, oftentimes I've spoken with a lot of other men um, in the in the world of inner healing and and emotional work and things of this nature and relationships are often the uh, one of the most common things to trigger your inner shit <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you who are in a relationship can agree or can relate to that um, but anyways that was the first kind of trigger and then since then uh, it's been <laughs> It's, it's completely exposed to like so much of my inner shit. Um, and, you know, a few months later, I released that video last year, um, my first big cry as an adult because the inner shit, it was just, it was just coming up, all of it. It was unrelenting, still is, which is kind of the point of this video, which we'll get to in a second. But yeah, essentially last summer, um, I was staying at my grandparents' house in Summerland and <laughs> from, you know, M May, probably like April, I mean, so April started to really go through it. May was super difficult, May, June, July, um, essentially like April through July of last summer, I was staying with my uh, grandma and dad in Summerland, and I was just going through um, excruciating mental, uh, emotional pain the whole time. And it felt like hell. It felt like I was in, like in a little hell chamber, <laughs> just in the room I was staying at. Just like I, no words can really describe what that was like. Um, I can say the words, you know, excruciating emotional pain, but it it doesn't really do it justice. <laughs> um, and uh, that was my first like last summer was my first kind of rodeo in that regard where I faced a lot of my inner shit, processed a lot of painful emotion. I gained awareness around uh, parts of myself that I had no idea like what was even going on before. And so I kind of learned the basics around processing emotion and uh, how like trauma and suppressed emotion is stored in the body and uh, and kind of just getting a basic education 
by necessity um, into the inner world and into like the emotional healing world. It's not something that I actively sought out. Uh, it's an education that I had to develop again by necessity because I, I, there was a crossroads that I faced at that time when shit just started to get super triggered um, and just everything just my internal system just like fucking blew up <laughs> apparently um, seemingly um, I had a crossroads to face either aggressively suppress it again which is you know more or less what I've been doing my whole life or face all of it and and walk through the fire per se and uh and I chose to walk through the fire because I know that um, I know that I'm meant to. In order to become my elite self, I need to, um, you know, I need to heal these parts of myself. I need to. I need to win this battle. You know, <laughs> it's a fucking hard one. But yeah, last summer I uh, yeah went through that, and then in uh, in September, um, and then that kind of just like it was very difficult. And then September I had a massive travel month, where I went to like five different places, um, and so that was kind of like a distraction of sorts. And then in the fall of 2023, moved to Kelowna, which is where I'm at now, and uh, moved into my own place here, because while I was in uh, Summerland, I was spending a lot of time in Kelowna with the girl I was seeing, and uh, and I just lo lo loved this city. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move here. So I moved here, and, uh, and essentially, the journey more or less continued from there, right where I left off. Um, just, oh, just more, more emotional pain, more inner shit to face. Um, during the summer, it was bad to the extent where I really didn't even focus on business. I just showed up for my obligations that I had, which were my client calls and team calls, and still made sure that the clients were progressing and. And all this stuff, but besides that, I uh, I didn't really do a whole lot um, because I was just in emotional pain for, and I was just spending hours and hours and hours each day just 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 eating shit. And by eating shit, I mean like curled up in a ball in my room, just like crying or um, or feeling emotion or or journaling or things of this nature that I felt like I needed to do in the moment. And, uh, and then when I moved to Kelowna, I, uh, I kind of went more on the offensive in regards of business and uh, did a lot more work and, and um, brought on more new clients and built some momentum in that regard. And it was kind of like a nice distraction in, in a way. Um, felt like something I could control, something I could just do. Um, but the emotion, all of it, still there. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then it, there, there was little instances along the way where it kind of, you know, there were some good moments and, you know, an hour here or a day there where I felt like fine, felt happy perhaps. Um, but that's only... Over the last 12 months, it's it's 99% emotional pain, 1% happiness or peace. Um, and uh, and today, I, it just and it, it's it's continuing until today. Like today was a very very difficult day. The last day is the last weeks. Um, Yeah, just so much fucking emotion. If you guys can tell, I have like a lot of emotion in my body currently. And, you know, sometimes I don't know what it is particularly, whether it's like um, an inner child thing or if it's uh, like a suppressed emotion thing or if it's, uh, I don't know. 
you know, my brother, by the way, has given me a lot of great um, tools and context behind what I'm going through for several reasons. One of which, he's a men's coach, so he, he works with men to help them, you know, heal inner parts of themselves, amongst other things. He does a lot of great things. But he's given me a lot of context, a lot of education behind um, the journey. And he's also my brother, so he, he knows what my childhood was like and what the dynamics were with my parents and all these things that are very relevant to one's inner healing journey. So he's been a wonderful asset for me to you know uh, go through this journey with. Um, but today, I a lot of emotion come up. It, it's kind of just like random sometimes in waves. Um, super, super difficult. It's very unrelenting. You know, I wake up with it. Um, there's very rare instances where it doesn't just consume my entire body. And, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, what's called the dark night of the soul. Um, it's a term my brother, um, said to me today. And I also, uh, heard it in a YouTube video by Dr. Nicole, uh, Nicole LaPera. I think that's her last name, but she's, uh, she, her, her username is like the, the holistic psychologist on Instagram and, and I think YouTube as well. So she has a lot of really good stuff. Um, the dark night of the soul where it is what it sounds like, where your soul is just going through some dark shit. And, uh, and you know, I, I, over the last few minutes, I've kind of gone over the pain of or just like the broad overview of the pain, but I know that uh, like every ounce of pain that I'm feeling is pain that I'm meant to feel in order to develop into the version of myself I'm meant to become. Because the alternative to this would, you know, be my inner child shit and, and all this stuff just continuing to be suppressed and residing within me for the rest of my life, controlling me as it does many people. The things that I'm experiencing aren't necessary, aren't, you know, unique. Um, I mean, we're all unique in our own way and, and therefore we go through our inner shit in a unique way and we have a unique combination of inner shit to deal with. But in regards of having inner shit to deal with, in that regard, I am not unique. Um, everyone has their own shit. And uh, it just so happens that in my life, it just all fucking came up at once. And I've taken a very intentional path to deal with it because I, I know that's what's required of me. I know that I'm meant to, I know that it's, uh, I, you know, I'm meant to develop an education around it. I'm meant to go through it. I'm meant to, I'm meant to beat it, to overcome it. And, uh, one reason being because I know I'm supposed to help other people in this regard. Because oh, a lot of people, especially men, are going through the dark night of the soul without any education or any framework or any support behind how it's going or any idea of what it is. And they're just going through hell internally. Um, and that's torture. It's torture. Yeah, when I was going through it last summer, I had... Uh, you know, one, two, three people that I could talk to at any given point. And, you know, I had my brother who was consistently educating me and, you know, supporting me very actively through this. And, uh, you know, I'm super grateful to have that. And a lot of people don't, you know, there's been a lot of points in my, you know, when I was going through this deep shit where I thought to myself, wow, this would be so much harder if I didn't have if I didn't have a, a framework or an education behind what this actually is, which is what, which is the position that many men find themselves in, which is just experiencing a plethora of pain without like realizing what it is, without realizing that it's part of their healing journey. It's not just pain, right? And so leading up to today, you know, where I'm going through fucking more pain, um, again, I'm recording this, well, 
not again, but I'm recording this because, you know, it's, it's becoming more and more clear to me that I need to share shit like this. This is not fun to share. <laughs> this is not. I'm okay, like, sharing my vulnerabilities because, again, I, uh, you know, it's easy to share shit once you've passed it or once it's like a year ago or once it's, you know, once it's happened. Even if it happened yesterday, it's easier to talk about something happening yesterday than something happening right now. And, uh, <laughs> And I'm not even sure any, like, I'm not sure everyone needs to go through what I'm going through. Again, everyone has their own combination of inner shit and, and whatnot. But I don't, I guess my general purpose behind making this video is just, uh, just highlighting the fact that, you know, this, the, uh, on your route to, you know, creating the life that you want and becoming the version of yourself that you want, it's, it's there's high probability <laughs> that you have to face your inner shit in fact in my opinion in order to become your elite self you must face the entirety of your inner shit as it comes up because if you suppress it or you ignore it or you distract yourself from it you're not going to become the version of yourself you know you can you're not going to create the life you know you can um to its fullest extent and so yeah, I'm sharing this just to, you know, I also get a lot of people, or not a lot, but, you know, a few over the years um, asking me, you know, how am I so positive all the time? And uh, pretty much just that, how am I positive all the time? How do I keep a positive mindset all the time? And so, you know, that's just the nature of social media these days is the highlights are posted. And, uh, and so uh, that's why I'm making a point of filming this shit because not only in past tense but in current tense where I'm going through it and uh, again I know that th this is literally all part of my journey every ounce of pain that I experience that we all experience is a seed for potential it's a seed for happiness and uh, and you know I'm very actively working on this like journey like essentially like when I'm not working on my business or helping clients or working with my team, I'm focusing on myself and and uh, just doing meditations, uh, developing gratitude, developing self-love and self-compassion. I know that self-love and self-compassion are two major things that I need to work on. And uh, specifically, like with this, with this whole journey as well, self-love and self-compassion, two major things. Um, my brother described to me um, this idea that, almost like imagining a bird where the left wing is like the awareness of the pain or the awareness of your inner experience. The other side of the, the other wing is like self-love and self-compassion towards whatever you're feeling. And I've mastered the experience side where I'm very aware of what I'm feeling, uh, the pain, and just I'm very, I have faced it, I've, I've sat in it, I've bathed in it, essentially, over the last 12 months. Um, but the thing that I'm lacking is the self-love and self-compassion piece towards myself, but especially towards the parts that are hurting, which is very unnatural to do, very unnatural to do. At least in my case, I feel as though it's unnatural to do. Um, to deploy compassion and love towards those parts, as opposed to just feeling the pain. Actually deploying love towards the pain. Super unnatural. But, uh, you know, I, I think that it's probably the, the route I need to take. And my brother's very confident in that. And I trust him. And so... Yep. Um, you guys, I'm not recording this for any type of sympathy either. You guys don't have to message me asking me if I'm okay. I'm, I'm good. Um, again, I'm recording this for 
you know, the person that's going through it by themselves that is wondering, is the, like, why, why, why me? Like, is everyone going, are other people going through this? Um, why am I going through this hell? I'm recording it for those people because, again, a lot of people go through inner shit that either never take it in the direction that is productive or just are unaware that there is a productive direction to take it at all. And by productive, and the productive direction is often super, super painful because, again, you're facing all this shit. So, uh, like I mentioned in uh, the other videos, I think, um, if nothing else, I just want to uh, display the fact that it's important to face your inner world, whatever, you know, sometimes you can just dive into it intentionally, start to read books and, and do meditations and explore yourself. Sometimes external shit just happens in life, whether it's in the department of relationships or business or personal stuff or whatever else that that tends to activate some inner shit that you have and you have the option to face it. So perhaps, you know, this video can encourage you to face some of your inner stuff if you find it applicable. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing my thing. Again, um, mastering your inner world and, and healing these parts of yourself is certainly part of becoming my elite self. And so that's part of why I'm documenting it as well because, you know, it's, I have to walk the walk, you know? Um, and plus, <laughs> I, uh, I, I view life more and more without, um, without a filter of, of fear of judgment, you know, when you put yourself out there in a vulnerable way, it's like, you never really know, like whatever people are going to think, but I'm at the point where like, what, what the fuck else am I going to do? You know? Um, you know, I'm prepared to really dedicate my life to, you know, what elite self stands for. And I know that part of it's just sharing every ounce of my journey. One quote that I keep in mind is, uh, that I've heard from a few different people that I look up to, not sure who the origin of the quote is, but the quote is, your mess is your message mess is your message and uh so that's kind of like a thought pattern operating in my mind as well is you know what what's the point in, in just showing like the the top 30 percent good shit about you know who i am and what i'm going through and and what my life is like and, and stuff like this like, what's the point? Why not just show 100%? Why not show the fucking dirty, nasty shit <laughs> as well? Like, what do I have to gain? What do I have to lose, rather? I don't know. Um, <sighs> I don't know if there's anything else to say, but... Uh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Dark Knight of the Soul. In my case, the dark night has actually been a dark year. <laughs> it's been it's been a year since you know I started to feel all this shit, and you know I'm very exhausted, very emotionally exhausted, um, which translates to physical exhaustion. Um, you know when you when you experience very disempowering emotions for days and days and weeks and weeks and months and months, it's. Uh, you know, it's tough to tolerate, especially when you want to show up on a daily basis and perform in your business and get shit done and, and all these things. It's very difficult. Another skill I've built along the way is learning how to execute in my business and in other areas of life, no matter how I feel. Because throughout the last year, if I only executed, if I only, you know, did shit that I need to do when I, when I felt like it, I would have done things like less than 1% of the time. So when you start to, you know, really face your inner shit, you have to, you have to like allocate your time very intentionally. You have to set aside specific time to, to face it, to process it, to feel it, 
in my case, deploy love and compassion towards it, to develop gratitude, um, to do all these things. And this can be in little corners of your day. I do meditations when I wake up and meditations when I go to bed, um, sometimes throughout the day as well, if I feel like I need it. But then there's times where you have to just hop on a call, no matter how you feel, even if you're like literally just getting destroyed on the inside, you still have to show up for that meeting. You still have to do the call. You still have to post that content. Um, so it's a, it's a skill that you build out of necessity when you start to really, really go through your shit. Um, anyways, I feel like I'm going to ramble on and on, um, <laughs> about random stuff now, but, uh, yeah, I guess I, Kind of conveyed the general idea that I wanted to convey tonight. Um, you know, I'm open to sharing more about this in my daily process. For the, you know, I was very kind of I shared a lot about this last summer. I posted stories and uh, on Instagram, and also uh, I made a, a YouTube video or two um, regarding this, and I was very active. But since then, I haven't really shared much of it, um, mainly because I just, again, I have no problem sharing my vulnerabilities, but. I, uh, I just didn't really see see a, a point and I was just I don't know maybe I was scared to share it perhaps um, it's possible honestly probable <laughs> if I really could evaluate that um, but again I reached the point where I just don't give a fuck and you know I'm, I'm happy to put this stuff out if it feel, if it helps one of you guys you know it'll be worth it for me so um, if you want you know, let me know if it if it serves you in any way for me to share more of this stuff because I'm open to it. Um, again, I'm, I'm here to help as many people on planet Earth develop into their elite self. The emotional journey is a portion of becoming your elite self. And I know I must share the shit that I'm going through as well. So again, that's, that's my intent here. Um, yeah, I hope this helps somebody in some way. <laughs> if not, all good, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you stuck with me to the end, I appreciate your time and and uh, this, this is, I don't know how long this was, but it wasn't a short video, so appreciate your time. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video.